Hello everyone and welcome to a Let's Play of Shogun 2 as the Takeda on Legendary Difficulty. My name is Voland and I do Max Difficulty Let's Plays, especially of Total War. And this is the beginning of one such Max Difficulty Total War playthrough. So I'm playing as the Takeda, Domination Campaign. No drop-ins because that's buggy as hell. No advisor help. Show CPU moves because that's just full. Battle time limit enabled because the game can bug out and the campaign can be bricked. So we're playing as the Takeda who are the masters of the horse. We previously, in the last campaign, which was a hell of a lot of fun and very popular and successful. And also the reason I am doing another one is the Takeda. That was as the Otomo which are the masters of gunnery. And before that I played a co-op campaign with a friend of mine as the Shimizu. So we did the swords, the katanas, then we did the guns, now we're doing the cav. And I'm more excited about this campaign than I was for any of the previous ones for a number of reasons. But I'll get into those when the actual campaign begins. So here is the, the initial challenge hard. 1545, one province, improved morale, stats and recruitment cost and upkeep for all cavalry. Here's the description, but I think the intro covers the description by itself, so let's just get into the intro and then we can begin the campaign. Fifteen or forty-five. This is Sengoku Jidai, the age of the country at war. The intro is the same for every faction except for the end, which is different, unique, tailored for each faction. For two hundred years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. Great splendor and power were theirs. Yeah, so this part is generic. Now the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun. Who will be victorious? Takeda lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. Kai. To be Takeda is to be born in the saddle. We are master horsemen. Our cavalry astound all. Let others march. We ride. We fly. Like storms in the mountains, we thunder in battle. Pisha Mountain, the war guard has woken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the Takeda clan. Takeda. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. Hey, that was pretty cool. We are the Takeda. Masters of Kai province for centuries, we have always faced aggression from neighboring clans. While we have come to terms with the Imagawa and the Hojo in recent years, the Shinano warlords have been unrelenting in their crusade to seize our lands and crush the clan. Our first priority should be to ensure that an end is put to the Shinano incursions. Murakami of North Shinano have repeatedly invaded Kai, so bringing them to heel will afford us the chance to build up our military strength. From there, we can proceed into South Shinano, establishing a position at the heart of Honshu and securing a source of quality stone to supplement our construction and trade efforts. Our relationship with the Imagawa has grown strong in the recent years, and I recommend keeping this as such. The aid would be most welcome should hostilities resume against the Hojo, a 
and we expand into the Kanto area. As our clan grows in stature, the Shogun is bound to take action against us. Our proximity to Kyoto makes us a potential threat to the Shogunate, and we must be prepared to withstand his attempts at subjugation. If they do not relent, then we will be forced to take action ourselves for the greater good of Japan. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. All right, let's do this. So we have a mission which will give us instill sphere and enemy units, which is going to be good. And all we have to do is defeat an army of our antagonists. If our daimyo is to become shogun, military ruler, military ruler of, of all Japan. Japan. All right, so this is our province, Kai. It is a cavalry specialization province, which, look at that, we are a cavalry specialization clan, so that's a really good synergy. Not only that, but it's our capital as well, so if a general comes of age, he will reap the benefits of this plus three charge bonus, which goes up to plus five, and also the, the encampment, so we can... So every time a general comes of age and we have those facilities in place, we will get a bodyguard with superior charge bonus. And that means that we can then go on and upgrade him with this so that he has an, a beastly bodyguard. So I'm going to try and do that. I'm going to have, I'm going to try and have like 24 generals that have super stats. Alright, so this is our capital, and as you can see, it is situated in a pretty good place. It's surrounded by mountains to the north, and there's two ways in to the south. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to defeat the Murakami. I'm going to try and win that battle against... It's, it's quite evenly matched, but I, I think I can win it with as little as 10 men lost, if I'm careful. I'm going to try and be extremely careful, because... I need as much momentum as possible at this stage of the campaign. Every single decision or action or event will reverberate throughout the rest of the entire campaign, which, if this campaign is just as long as the previous one, that could be like a 70 hour long campaign. So, everything we do right here now has far reaching consequences. So, I'm going to try and win this battle extremely efficiently and ruthlessly, and then I'm going to rush to take this town. And in doing so, I will try and get a vassal because this town has no specialization. And also I'm going to try and get a rank 2 general. So this is my daimyo, Takeda Shinjin, or Shingen. If anyone knows how to pronounce that, please leave a comment let me know because that would be very helpful. So he has Bloodthirsty. He has he has the best trait in the game pretty much and still has fear on enemy units. So I'm going to try and synergize that with, with this. I don't know if it will work, but... I would like to try and synergize this trait that he already has and still sphere enemy units with this one. That could be cool. And then I could use this guy to just charge around routing Yari Ashigaru like a fucking Nazgul in third age, that kind of thing. So yeah, that that reminds me I should I should say that for this campaign, I'm gonna assume that you, the viewer, is a veteran of my videos because I've already did a Shimizu campaign and a Tomo campaign. The Tomo campaign was very popular, it's where I got most of my Total War subscribers and it's why I'm doing this campaign here now. It was really popular, you guys wanted more so I'm gonna try. I know I'm gonna f get new subscribers and viewers from this campaign that have no idea of what I do or what I've done but I'm gonna address everyone as if you are a veteran of the Tomo campaign just, just for the sake of less confusion. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a vassal in the north, that should act as a buffer against any attacks from the north and that means we can turn our attention to the south with everything and then we can subdue the Hojo because the Hojo have two really good provinces, they have a surface gold mine province which means that we can build up the infrastructure very quickly here and then put a Metsuke there and we will get lots of money which means we can make lots of units and upgrades and then up here we have a blacksmith so we have a cav specialization, 
a surface gold mine for money and a forge. Perfect. We just this triumvirate of towns. If we take them, we are in a very good position, and that's what I'm going to try and do within the very first few turns. It require a lot of meticulous movement and us. flawless battles, mostly, but I think I can do it. I'm going to try and do some things differently in this campaign as well from previous ones. If you know, if you've watched my Tomo campaign, you'll know that I try and be very uh, rigorous. Like I don't like ma making units that don't have fully upgraded stats. But someone left a comment telling me that I can, I can make units. I can merge units so that if a unit has 6 attack and no experience I can send it into the, the heat of battle so it takes loads of losses and then and then I can merge it with a unit that has lots of experience and if I do that properly that means that I will have a unit with plus, plus 6 attack, lots of experience and a depleted unit That's with no plus 6 attack so I'm gonna, normally I'd be very tentative and unwilling to recruit units like this that are obsolete, I'd want to make as few as possible because their experience would be wasted, but that's not the case anymore, so I'm going to try and have a healthy variety of everything, and then as the campaign goes on and I get access to better facilities, I will upgrade them and, well, upgrade them in quotes because it's it's not really upgrading them, it's merging their experience into another unit. So, so we need to defeat this army, that's the thing we have to do first. And I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put that army on the roads. Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. Then I'm gonna put this guy in the stack. Then I'm gonna put the commissioner for warfare, who's the, who's the brother, right there. Then I'm gonna attack. Wait. I'm gonna have to do it like this. So then I get all of these units to lead attacks. I need to win this one quite flawlessly. I think I've got most movement points still remaining. And there we have it. So, the reason I want all generals to be leading stacks is to get experience. If you've watched my Tomo campaign, you'll know all about that stuff. So, so let's fight this. So if we win this battle, we will have a, an instill, instill sphere and enemy units bonus, which is good. That'll, that'll That'll probably synergize with the one I currently have on my daimyo, so yeah, I want my daimyo to lead most attacks. I want to get him to six stars quickly. Alright, I think they have a unit of Yari Cavalry. That could be tricky to deal with. Alright, so I'm going to be very, very cautious here. I need to. I want to win with as few losses as is possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and bait them out very, very carefully and apprehensively, and then take them apart. Hopefully, I'll be able to defeat them in detail one unit at a time. Alright, so here comes the reinforcing general. Let's have a look at Takeda Shin Shingen or Shinjin. Yeah, again, if anyone knows how to pronounce that shit, let me know. This is him here. Where is he? Nah. I'm going to have to just tell him to stop, and then have a look at him. Here he is. Look at that moustache. Alright, enough of that. Let's, let's destroy a unit. So, the Bo Ashigaru. I'm going to try and pull a unit of Yari Ashigaru out. And then I can... Flank it hopefully with cavalry, route it. This is going to be something of a mainstay of my strategy until I get I get a footing in the campaign. Mass flanking with cavalry and pinning with infantry. Hopefully I'll be able to get Kisho Ninja very quickly, that's a goal of mine. That's one thing I need to do, I need to set, set the research, so... Oh yeah, that's that's another thing that's really great about the Takeda. Their specialization is cavalry and it's so easy to get the best cavalry quickly because it's just one tech tree. You just need to go down one tech tree of like 15 turns and then you can have every cavalry unit with super buffs immediately. It's, it's quite good. So I'm going to try and do that. 
Alright, we're nearly in range of this unit of Yari Ashigaru. I need to make sure I've got a unit of Yari covering all my troops at all times because because they have a unit of Yari Cav there and they could really fuck me up if they wanted to, so gotta be careful. The Boa Shigaru are there. So if they charge me with infantry I'll run away, if they charge me with Cav I'll shield with the Yari Samurai. Yeah, I might keep this unit of Yari Samurai for the entire campaign. Normally Yari Sam are quite useless, but I think I can give them a roll. Alright, let's get the let's get Shinjin up to demoralise this unit. Don't underestimate that. That's that can be really potent, especially against Ashigaru, the demoralization effect. Alright, let's get a volley into this unit and then see how much damage we do. Not a hell of a lot. Alright, this last volley and then run. Fuck's sake, fire, yeah. That was good, 20 kills, not bad. And this unit is steady. If I do this properly, I can have no losses. I think it's going for my, my light cav. That's good, that means I can just keep firing at it. It's shaking already. Alright, this is it. It's gonna route. It's gonna route. No, it isn't. <laughs> Actually it might. It's gonna route. Shattered, look at that, perfect. We just shattered a unit of Yari Ashigaru without losing a single man using the using Sh Takeda Shinjin. Yeah, this it's a shame this guy doesn't have the charge bonus because he would be awesome. Alright, Light Cav take over, that's what you're for. And now I hope they don't send a unit out to to dis disrupt me, that would be annoying. Yeah, this unit Yari Samurai, it's basically a heavy Yari Ashigaru, so... It's a bit more resilient, a bit more morale, but it's just as good at taking out cavalry, probably... Probably worse, because it has less men. Each man has a bonus V cavalry of 25 or 20, so... They're pretty much equally effective. For it. Let's send the Yari, the, the Boashi Gary forward. Let's take another unit. Ideally, I'd like to leave a unit of Yari for the next fight. So if I can pull the bows out, destroy them, then take out the the Yari Cav, that should be a very clean fight. Alright, so that unit is gone. I should perhaps just outright route a unit of... Uh, Yari Ashigaru and send it off the field. I should have left that unit and then just utterly destroyed all of these so that in the next battle I'm just dealing with a unit of Yari Ashigaru. Alright, the bows are at the front. This is pretty good so far. Pretty good. I'm gonna do some manoeuvring here. I think I can get a volley into that unit without incurring the wrath of the Boashigaru. I'd like to leave the Yari Samurai. I'd rather not have to take it out because that'll be tougher to deal with. Alright, I'm gonna move the like have their army is sort of shifting too much. Alright, now we have the high ground, we could charge over that hill and destroy them, but we would take some bad losses doing that. And I need as many men as possible for the upcoming siege attack, siege assault. So I'm going to be very careful. I think I'm going to pull out the Boashigaru at this rate. Yeah, there it comes. And I'd rather not sit and exchange fire with it. That's, that would not be ideal. So I'm going to just slowly walk away and I'm going to try and trap it. If I can trap that unit of Boashigaru, that would be awesome. And then I'll just have a couple of units of Yari 
and a Yarikav. That would be great. Alright, I'm in a good position here. Just need to pull this unit out a bit more. It's gonna keep. It's gonna keep coming. Oh shit, run. We didn't lose any men. No one. Said we were under fire, but we're good. Alright, I think I can. I can destroy that unit without taking any losses. I'm gonna prepare for the follow up charge. That always comes. Oh shit. This light cav, I'm gonna have to lead this with that. I, th I think I can get in with the light cav. I mean, right in. Right up to it before it can face. Yeah, if I can distract with a unit and then charge with another one. Whichever unit it faces, I'm gonna pull away from. None. It's totally sandwiched. Holy shit, is that unit raped? Oh my god. One loss. We lost one horse in that in that exchange. That is brilliant. Okay. Let's get a Yari wall on this hill to prepare for the repercussions, which will be an inevitable charge because they have no they cannot skirmish, the AI knows it has no skirmishing capabilities whatsoever. So we lost two horses, that is that is acceptable, that's more than acceptable. Alright, this is a good steep segment of the hill. I'm gonna Yari wall up there. I'm gonna put my bows on the peak and they're gonna come for the charge. Alright, I'd rather not outright obliterate this army. I want to be able to follow up attack and destroy the the remnants in another battle so I can get a rank to Takeda Shinjin. That would be awesome. Oh, they're not they're not going for it. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward a bit. They're willing to sit in camp. Good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna send my Boashigaru. We only lost two two light cav. That is that is the the sum of all of our losses. That is brilliant. Alright, this this looks pretty steep. Where what can I camp? I'm gonna camp here. Alright, the Yari wall is going up there. And the Yari Samurai I'm gonna put in a mobile walk behind. And I'm gonna run away with the bow Ashigaru slightly. Alright, here they come. Alright, time to face them with the Yari the Yari Samurai. Okay, good. Inspired Yari cavalry. That Yari cav is gone. They're fucked. Alright, now I would like to take out that Yari Ashigaru completely. Alright, they're wavering. Oh my god, they're screwed. They're screwed. They're, they're so screwed. They've got 29 cavalry men remaining. What the hell? Alright, oh, that's, that's okay. Never mind. Ooh, I was close. And there goes the remnants, I think. Alright, I'm gonna charge. I'm gonna charge. This is great. This is great. And I'm gonna flank with cavalry. And I think we're gonna route all of that. We will take a few losses, but that's totally fine. And I think I can get a rear charge into that. Preferably with the light cav. My lord, there they go. A glorious victory will soon be yours. If I can take out the Yari Samurai, that'd be brilliant. Alright, now, do not destroy everything. That would be that would be kinda shit. Alright, so there's a Yari Samurai getting out. Alright, this is good. I need as many rank ups as possible, remember. 64 Yari Samurai, that'll do it. So we have two experienced Yari Sam, one experienced Yari Ashigaru. So we lost about 60 men of Yari Ashigaru mostly, so that's fine. 
decisive victory in my ass. That was heroic. So that's that's an ideal start, pretty much. We could have we could have taken out that Yari Ashigaru on its own before taking out the Yari Samurai, but that that'll do. That'll be fine. We've still got two full bodyguards that we can use to scale the walls if we need to. So yeah, that was good. And good, we have an army that remains. We've got remnants. And we can get another victory. And there you go, 64 kills, zero losses, ideal.